Who wants to read a book in the dark? Spoiler alert, everybody does. All you do is get one of these books, shut off the light, actually get several of these books because that's what we do. We read like seven at a time. You read the front page. The faces of four presidents are carved into Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. Who is looking at them? Well, who is? You can't see until you shine a light behind the page and it reveals a hidden image. And all the pages are like that. And then it's got a little bit more info on this side because this is what was showing through. Seeing into the NASA's Mission Control Center, I'm telling you, your kids are gonna go nuts. Osborne has three levels of jigsaw puzzles. The first level is the easiest and it's three puzzles of nine pieces each. It includes a mini book with the puzzle. The second level has a hundred pieces plus a book. The third level has 300 pieces plus a book. My son has misplaced the book for the Atlas one. So I apologize, I cannot show you, but he did leave behind two figures that are not included with your puzzle. Please check our website out for more options in each category. I just want to show you a couple of sticker books so you get a feel for what they are since it can be confusing. Pay attention to sizes and pay attention to the keywords on the cover when you look at them on the website. The little, little stickers are the smaller. The ones that are first stickers are the same kind of thing. They're just bigger, but the little stickers are going to all be reusable in that you can move them around on the pages. I don't think they have a forever life. It's not like those vinyl ones that can be stuck over and over and over again, but it does help with, um, if they make a mistake, they can redo it. And then these ones usually are not that way. They're updating them all slowly as they sell out. And then we've got sticker dolly dressings. There are tons of themes in that. The little ones are gonna be this size. The larger ones are going to be bigger. They are the movable stuff, but then you dress the dolls. Okay, we have two books. There's a mouse about the house, and then there is one with squirrel in the title. I'm totally blanking on the name right the second. But they come with little mo a mouse or a squirrel, and if you lose them and you're my customer, just reach out and I'll get you another one as soon as I place another order. Um, anyway, the mouse is intended to go through pages. You want to go through the page before you start reading to your kiddos and open all the slots because... This is what can happen if not, because at a book fair, kids just tore into it before I even got to open them. So anyway, they go through the slats throughout the book. You read the story. There's flaps to lift. Your kids are going to giggle, and they are going to love this interactive level. There are little flaps. It's a silly story about a mouse. He even goes up his underpants, and um, at the end, he steals some crumbs from the cat. So we have a new series called the Little Transfer Book Series, and there are several that we have. I know we have a Mermaids and the Unicorns one, so check those ones out. But you get these pages of animals, as you can see, and all you do is you find the scene, you match it to the, the yellow. I'm just gonna pretend this matches for the sake of time. Um, and then all you do is just add them in to the scene by you color over the side that's colored and it, you won't even be able to tell what is what was there we already. We have a series called Ludwig and this one is the dinosaur version. It comes with a pair of really cool 3D glasses. And as you go through it, you read the story and then they'll be able to see really cool things which you cannot see on the camera but take it from me, it's pretty cool to be able to see the, everything like this in 3D. You choose has been a popular hit and we now have a space version of this. So if you like space, this is a good way to just interact with your kiddo, put them on your lap and you guys can talk and be silly together. You, if you could go anywhere, where would you go? And it's so detailed, so many things to look at and find and they'll, they will change their answers every time and we make it a game and we say we can't pick it if someone else picked it. You have to take turns. A lot of different learning opportunities in this you choose. We have several activity books we have lots of activity books, actually. There's going to be ones for little children, which is for the preschool levels, and then there's one for seven and up, which will entertain um, the elementary school. We do have a lot of math-based ones. I wanted to show you an example of that, and I will go into more detail in my education videos, but this kind of shows you how it makes math so much fun, puts a visual game to it, and Weston has...